Here are five manufacturers that should join NASCAR. NASCAR always talks about adding a new OEM, a new manufacturer to the series, and they've desperately been trying to do that ever since Dodge left after the 2012 season, and they've yet to do it. They even tweak the package and continually tweak the package because they say that's what prospective OEMs want. Going down to 550 horsepower was supposed to bring in a new OEM. It brought in absolutely zero. People weren't knocking down the door to say, we got to get into NASCAR. So now with the Gen 7 car, NASCAR continually tries to attract a new manufacturer, and they've uh, basically to no avail. Obviously, the 800-pound gorilla in the room that's throwing tires around like a maniac is Dodge, and everybody's obsession with that, and we'll get to that in a moment, but there's other manufacturers out there that NASCAR should look at, entertain, or try to convince to join the series. So let's talk about the five of them real quick. First up is Hyundai slash Kia, and I threw Kia in there because Hyundai owns 33% of them, but back around 2018 and 2019, Hyundai explored an entry into NASCAR. They went as far as going to Daytona, meeting with NASCAR, talking to Toyota, and they asked Toyota, like, hey, how much does a project like this cost? Because obviously Toyota was the most recent manufacturer to join, albeit over a decade ago, and like the startup costs and everything. And Toyota's like, this is how much it costs. We don't know if you actually have the money to do that or if it would be financially smart for you to do that. Kind of like Big Brother looking out for Little Brother here. And Hyundai was like, yeah, you are correct. We are in much different tax brackets right now. We might hang out in the same neighborhood, but we do not live in the same homes. You have a 20 bedroom house and we're currently over here with a four. So Hyundai ultimately decided not to, but that was 2018, 2019. They have a much bigger market share now. They have a really good crossover product. They have a good SUV lineup. They have a good uh, sedan lineup as well. And their Hyundai Elantra N sedan, the N line is their performance line, is a great looking car. They race it in World Challenge right now through Brian Hurd Autosport, shout out Robert Wickens, and they win races down there. Are they committed to moving up to the NASCAR Cup Series? Mm, I don't know if that's necessarily in their wheelhouse at the moment, but it would be an interesting you know, avenue for them to approach. And NASCAR, of course, would be super receptive of it. Do they have enough of a like following, a backing to really support it in the Cup Series? I don't know outside of like your, your fans that just like weird and wonky things, which would be cool, but they certainly don't have the same manufacturer loyalty that Ford, Chevy, and even Toyota does at the moment, right? I mean, all we kind of continue to hear about are how bad the engines are in Hyundais and Kias. If you have a Kia Telluride, RIP to that engine at some point in your life. But it would be cool to see a Hyundai Elantra cup car out there. And another manufacturer, of course, is never a bad thing. They're from South Korea, so they don't really have a natural rival within the Cup Series. You can, can create some sort of Pacific rival with Toyota if you want to, two Asian countries warring against each other in the Cup Series, um, the high banks of Daytona, which would be very odd, but it would be pretty cool to see it. If Kia still made the Stinger, shout out to Kia for making the Stinger in the first place. Green lighting, a high performance sedan at a time where nobody was, was a risky move. And obviously they didn't end up, you know, continuing on with the line. They've since discontinued it, but that was a great car. It would look great as a cup car as well, but for now we'll stick with the Hyundai Elantra line. Next up is Nissan or Nissan, depending on what part of the country you're from. If you've driven on any highway in America, at some point a Nissan Altima or Maxima has flown past you like you were pulling off a pit road at Daytona and the pack was going by you at full speed. Those cars are absolute rocket ships and apparently you can beat it more than the Carolina Panthers because they just keep on running. Are they good cars? Apparently so, because like I said, they seem to be indestructible. People drive them super fast. Why not just have the equivalent on the racetrack? A Nissan Altima Cup car would look pretty good. It's also a Japanese car. You have that already Japanese rivalry there between Toyota and Nissan. Granted, the Nissan Altima is a distant third in terms of the Japanese four-door sedans, but at the end of the day, you still at least have the opportunity to create a lineup. And Nissan does, of course, have a deep motorsports history. They have a long lineage of, of motorsport uh, success, albeit their most recent, you know, big foray, big time project was entering the World Endurance Championship with a top class prototype, LMP1 at the time. They tried to revolutionize what they what everybody was doing by going with a front wheel drive prototype. And you'll be shocked to hear this. It didn't work out very well at all. In fact, they spent a lot of money for no results. Ambitious project, looked cool, didn't end up paying off. They also tried a bit of a Delta Wing project at one point as well. That didn't work out for them at all. As much as Delta Wing wanted to be a thing, it will always just be this quirky, why did that continue to get funded type of project. But having said that, 
they continue to fund other random projects around the world in terms of, uh, of racing. They don't have any huge motorsport entries uh, on a global stage right now, and joining NASCAR would be a huge undertaking, but Nissan has the capital to do that. The biggest question is, do they want to, or should they? And honestly, I think that they should. Of course, they've entered Formula One through their Renault brand uh, at times as well, and they currently still have the Alpine brand. as They're all the same conglomerate. But at the end of the day, will they make a NASCAR program? More than likely not, but it would be interesting to see a Nissan Altima Cup car. Next up is Volkswagen. The goddamn Germans got nothing to do with it. Well, correct. At the time, they certainly have nothing to do with NASCAR, but it would be really interesting to see Volkswagen Group join NASCAR, especially with the Jetta, because it would, again, make a pretty good looking race car and it's aerodynamically would be great on a drafting track, more than likely. Now, the head of Volkswagen did come out this past week and say, I don't know if we'll even still be a brand by the end of 2025 because our business model is currently unsustainable. Not the words that you want to hear out of your leader and the guy in charge, but we'll just ignore that for now. That's a boardroom problem. We're not in the we're not in the business of boardrooms. We're in the business of just creating ideas right now, and we want Volkswagen to be involved in NASCAR because why not? After all, they are the world's second largest auto manufacturer, so getting them in here would be great. And according to the Shan Wow guy, it's German, and you know the Germans make good stuff. That's not entirely true. If you've ever owned a Volkswagen, you know how untrue that statement is, but, but that's beside the fact. Getting them into NASCAR would be huge. And of course, underneath that Volkswagen Auto Group, we currently have Audi undertaking a Formula One project that they are definitely not, maybe, potentially, certainly not pulling out of anytime soon, despite what all the rumors say, but they will at least should be joining Formula One in 2026. They also have a very large endurance racing program that is currently racing in both the World Endurance Championship as well as IMSA here stateside that they run through the Porsche brand, uh, also with the help of Roger Penske. Adding a NASCAR program to their resume probably isn't going to be the hardest thing in the world. They certainly have the capital to do it. Is there a want there? Probably not. I don't necessarily think that there is much of a desire to ever see Volkswagen in NASCAR, at least amongst like NASCAR fans. But there are at least Volkswagens that are made in America. You could potentially have some sort of brand loyalty through that. It would bring in at least a new manufacturer and it would bring in a German audience of some sort at least. So it's at least worth exploring the idea. Next up is Dodge. We get it. You all want Dodge to come join NASCAR once again. So we'll address, like I said at the beginning, the 800 pound tire throwing gorilla that's in the room smashing everything up. Dodge joining NASCAR would be massive. Of course, getting the big three back on track, again, would be huge for just in terms of brand loyalty and having all the fans go at it. Phenomenal. But they're not an American-owned company anymore, so I would have to call, both, well, technically I have to call Italy to then call France to see if we can get approval for Dodge to join the series again. And I just don't know if that's going to happen. After all, they have just now famously discontinued their Challenger and Charger line and will be bringing the Charger back, at least with an EV motor, there is talks of it coming back with an internal combustion inline six cylinder as well. Twin turbo could produce up to 500 horsepower. That'd be phenomenal as long as it doesn't melt the engine down like some of those Grand Wagoneers with the same motor that we've seen. It would be cool to see Dodge come back though. And that new Charger would look great on the racetrack. And as a two-door, everybody's like, oh, we got to get these cars back to looking like their stock cars again, which hasn't happened in 40 years. Although everybody in my TikTok comments are like, I stopped watching NASCAR when they stopped making the cars look like stock cars. So you stopped watching in like 1984? Like what, do you, what are we talking about? At least 84, at least the Monte Carlos did still somewhat look like the Monte Carlos. But I would argue that the front end of the Gen 7 cars are very spot on of what you can buy at the production model, but people don't want to talk about that. Yeah, well what about the bumper? Who's looking at, who, what? Who cares? Who's looking at the bumper? Nobody. Uh, stupid. So yeah, get Dodge to come back. It would be cool to see Dodge join the series once again. Like I said, the Charger is great. Having the big three go head to head, again, would be absolutely phenomenal. There's a ton of brand loyalty with Dodge people as well. And then you'll have the Dodge people that are like, I'll never drive a Ford, I'll never drive a Chevy. It's Mopar or no car. That's what they say. So get them to come back. Call them up, tell them, you know, hey, you guys want high horsepower? We're gonna go up to 800 horsepower. That's a pipe dream, but it would be really cool to see. 
And last but not least, we have Honda. As much as we want to see the American Big Three go head-to-head, -head, watching the two Japanese behemoths go head-to-head -head on the high banks of Daytona, Bristol, Martinsville, anywhere else in America would be absolutely phenomenal. And since Toyota's too scared to go hop into IndyCar, they actually just don't see the ROI in IndyCar, having Honda join NASCAR would be huge. And in the last couple of seasons, Honda's at least had preliminary discussions with NASCAR about, you know, potentially joining the series. And having the Honda Accord go head-to-head -head with the Camry in terms of your two best-selling sedans in this country would be at least, uh, well, it'd be great for marketing and a nightmare for marketing for both companies as well, but it would create a certain rivalry for sure. Is there brand loyalty between Honda and Toyota? Mm, probably not as much as you have between Chevy and Ford, or even Dodge if you want to throw them in there, but it would at least create this rivalry that we sort of see between Chevy and Ford right now as well, and then you have Honda potentially you know, going into those two's backyard in Michigan and winning like the same way Toyota has done. Uh, that wouldn't sit very well at all. Of course, HPD has a long history in motorsport. They obviously right now run an IndyCar. They have a Formula One program that's kind of a de facto Formula One program, at least until 2026 when they'll be back with Aston Martin. They, of course, also run endurance racing as well through their Acura brand. Honda cares about motorsports, and Honda not being in NASCAR is a bit of a shame, if we're being completely honest, because they're a brand that should absolutely be there, and hopefully they will be at some point. So get me a Honda Accord Cup car, Give me a Honda Civic Xfinity car as well while we're at it. You want to run the Ridgeline and trucks? I don't care if it doesn't fit the mold. Just get it in there. More OEMs is good. So let me know in the comments what's a manufacturer that you want to see join. At the end of the day, having more manufacturers join the sport is good for the sport. It means that there's going to be more competitive race cars out there. It means there's going to be more money spent in the sport. That is not a bad thing by any means. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakCard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakCardBlog.